Hi and welcome! This is the next Blender and 3D Code tutorial about texturing a table with PBR Smart Materials. I'm going to add the materials in 3D Code, export the textures and then import them into Blender for rendering them with cycles. So here's my table in Blender 2.78. It is one object and I have one material. In my last tutorial I also had one object but I had several materials. Now I have just one material and I will export this object out as FBX with one UV map like this here. I created this with the smart UV unwrap and there was a request somebody wanted to know how do I texture my model in 3D code if I have just one material defined. I have just one UV map and I want to use several smart materials in 3D code. So let's export this as FBX, just the selected objects and see how we will proceed. Like in the last tutorial I imported this object here, the FBX, into 3D code by using import and then object for per pixel painting and then I'm going to select a wood material and I will fill the whole layer I define now the wood layer with this wood material that's the first step we have one smart material and we will fill this whole object in one layer with this wood material so this is already really nice, but I wanted to use more than one PBR material. And I would like to add a white paint material for all the parts below this tabletop. And therefore I will add a new layer, call this paint. And then select the white PBR material. And after that, I will choose the rectangle brush to paint a whole area and also disable these ignore back faces because we want to paint everything, also the faces in the background. Then select the fill tool, draw this rectangular area and release the mouse and here we go. Okay, now I will add some dirt and scratches and after that we will export the textures and render this with Blender Cycles. So we are done and now I'm going to export out the textures. I'm choosing export, objects and textures and I'm using the Unreal Engine 4 template because this gives me the best results in my opinion and the roughness and metalness workflow. So press OK and the textures will be exported. And here we are back in Blender 2.78 with our table and our material for the table. And I'm going to use a shader, a PBR shader, for which I added the link to the description of this video. So let's add this here in and connect it to the material output. And then I'm going to add the textures, the images that I just exported with 3D code. The first material or the first texture is the base color. Okay. And now I'm going to duplicate this image texture node for adding the normal map. Be sure to set this to non-color data. Then select the normal map and connect it here to normal.
And now let's render this. I think the result should already look quite cool with this normal map added. Yes, not bad. And the roughness is missing. So let's duplicate this image texture again and select our roughness texture. This one and connect it to the roughness input. Now that's a really nice result. This reflection here on the surface of the area light and the sunlight. Really nice. So let's render this whole thing out now. I really hope you like this tutorial and you like my channel. Please subscribe and I also added a link to a previous tutorial that might be interesting for you. So thanks a lot for watching and for listening and come back to my channel soon. By the way, I will upload this model, if possible, to the Blunder market and then you can download it from there. When it is available on the Blunder market, I will add the download link to the description of this video.